See, like I would think that I would have to go to my amp and change the settings. Or on buy a it. new pedal. <laughs> yeah, or that. I think you just save some people a lot of money. Well, you're welcome. So, uh... <laughs> what's up, guys? I am here with Chris today, and we are in Mark Neukirchen, Germany, at GitCon 2018. Thanks to Framus and Warwick. We're gonna be continuing the electric guitar vlog series, mm. and yeah, it's so exciting. So you're gonna be teaching me and everybody else in the audience how to not be intimidated by the electric guitar because yeah. as you all know, I mainly come from the acoustic world and there's a lot of different stuff kind of going on here. So he's gonna be helping us kind of uh, figure out like the different switches and knobs and everything. And so let's dive in. Let's get right into it. So, uh, hi guys. Thing is that there are so many different electric guitars and circuitries and you know, different pickup uh, configurations and everything. Some have two pickups, some have three pickups, some, some have only one, and, you know, yeah. different amount of knobs and switches and five-way switch, th three-way switches and you know, tons of things. One thing is always the same. You will have an option to have a really bright and kind of a nasal sound, okay. which is the pickup closest to your bridge, bridge okay. yeah, which sounds something like this. It's more that rockier vibe. Yeah, exactly. And that's not a very nice sound. I mean, you, you start playing strumming. Yeah. It's like, uh, nah, yeah. not really nice. So that's going to work if you play gainy stuff like, okay. you know, rock, uh, distorted pop stuff, you know, okay. something punk rock, whatever, metal, whatever yeah. you're into, yeah. Otherwise, if you're playing clean or like semi-clean, somewhere in the middle or somewhere in the front, you're better off, you know, choosing one of those. It doesn't make any sense to, to explain what this does in this case, because this is just one guitar, guitar yeah. and they're like, you know, numbers so of options. Other, yeah. yeah, like for instance, your guitar does have uh, two pickups mm -hmm. and you also have a switch and that switch will probably have three positions, right? One. The blade switch, one. Two, two in the middle, and three. three, that's it. Mm -hmm. So you have the combination of this pickup, both together, or the neck pickup. Yes. Uh, so that's the basics. That's like a, like a, a Gibson Les Paul would, yeah. would react this way, like one pickup, both together, or the, uh, or the other yeah. one. And that's simple. You know? I know, so, so I that's, have like five. Exactly, which is what I have, because I have three pickups, so you have all the options, like this alone, then these together, then yeah. this alone, then these together. So you have all different That's flavors, crazy. which is which is a ton to remember. Yeah. So you shouldn't um, be afraid of, of these different sounds. Mm -hmm. You should just really concentrate on a few rules, which you can, of course, go around and just ignore. But in many cases, that, that, that will help you get like really nice sounds. Like, for instance, you want to have um, um, a strummy, sound, mm -hmm. you're better off somewhere in the middle. Okay. Because in that case, you have uh, all the frequencies, your, your straightforward mid-rangey okay. frequencies, and your nice and round low end and top end from okay. both pickups. And that will sound something like this, you know, like really clean and... Mm -hmm. It's really articulate and it just pretty. sounds better with that style of playing. Exactly. And if you go um, like um, finger style, okay. you can s stick to the same sound. It will yeah. work, you know, uh, probably know this lick. So kind of country uh, stuff as well, you know, if you're into... You can, you can get a lot out of these um, middle position kind of uh, uh, stuff. But if you go full on neck pickup, that's going to be a warm sound. Okay. Oh, I like that. If you're into something really slow or melodic or finger picking, you okay. know, that's, that's going to be Kind of like atmospheric too, sound. especially if you have like a, maybe a pedal in that'll work Exactly. With that. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, long notes, long sustained notes, yes. that's kind of your, your beautiful sound. Okay. Yeah, so for that you need uh, probably the neck pickup. Uh, somewhere in the middle you can strum, you can play like um, more like chicken picking stuff or whatever okay. you want and at the back you'll, you'll be ready to rock out. Very cool. That's like okay. the basic rules. Of All course right. they're, they're, you, know, um, you can ignore these as told and there are other ways to get cool sounds but if you just stick to these two or three little tips okay. you're, you're good. That clears that up. It makes a lot more sense. So now... You want to try uh, a few of, of these sounds? Sure, of course. So I've been using 
The more so the rock switch. Okay. A lot. Okay. I but I have been practicing on clean because I've been getting a lot of feedback in the comments that, that okay. is the best way to practice. Oh yeah. Because you can really hear what yeah. you're you're playing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I just I I just love that it's just grittier sounding. Yeah. It's, it's just great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing with that. Nice. I actually, I taught a Taylor Swift song on electric guitar because she actually, she played on the electric guitar. She did this, this song called Wildest Dreams. And I really like just how it sounded on electric guitar. And I was trying to mimic her settings and it was somewhere between the middle or kind of near or like next, the neck yeah. pickup. Yeah, yeah, it was warm like this. Yeah. Yeah, and that's really pretty sounding. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously we have a volume knob here and then the, and tone, the tone knob. knob. Exactly. So in some guitars, <laughs> I noticed mine, I have two tone knobs, but this one only has one. Yeah. So. Which is confusing. Yes. And it's kind of nonsense. I mean, if you're into some specific styles, it's going to help you out. Okay. But um, three knobs, um, you'll find three knobs on strats, like Fender okay. strats yes. or anything you know, following that uh, okay. type of uh, guitar shape and, and circuitry. For that, you have like one master volume knob yes. for all the pickups, whatever uh -huh. comes out through your cable. And you have one tone knob for, for um, the neck pickup, one for the middle or the bridge in the middle, depending on which model and, you know, which gotcha. age, which, which generation. But for that, I mean, it's not really very useful mm -hmm. and most of the time you have it on 10 anyhow yeah. but in some cases if it's like wired to the bridge pickup on a strat type guitar it's a, it's a thin pickup it's a okay. singing coil that sounds really edgy okay. that makes sense to roll that tone a little little down and leave the neck pickup alone because this sounds just fine gotcha. so you can like decide how to balance out the different voices of your different oh. pickups Okay. which is a very specific thing. Just uh, leave it on 10. Leave it there? Yeah, leave first, there. first of all. What's well, way more useful to try and, and uh, fool around with is your volume knob. What's really cool, especially on an electric guitar, that's something um, that works in a different way. If you use um, acoustic guitar a lot, mm -hmm. you're used to tons of dynamics. Like, yeah. Depending on how you hit the strings, exactly. just strum in your flesh or uh, mm -hmm. on the finger, or just hit it real hard with a yeah. thick pick, it's a huge difference. If it's it a good is. acoustic, it's like scary almost. And the thing too that I had to really um, try to embrace with the electric guitar is you can be a little bit more aggressive with it. Yeah. Because I, I play it's acoustic kinda... and I, I tend to be a little bit more gentle with my play. Yeah. And so uh, some people were telling me earlier, no, you can like go for it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm like, okay. That's cool. You should see my guitars. They're scratched all over the Just place because. Love marks. You yeah. Know, yeah. Exactly. Playing. Exactly. So uh, that's that's very nice, but you don't have uh, that much of an. Um, dynamic range okay. on an electric guitar. But what you can do is play with your volume knob. Okay. And for instance, if you have like a, a, I don't know, punk rock kind of cool <coughs> gainy sound. Uh, let me just make sure it sounds okay. okay. It's like, you know. Nice. It's a cool sound. Yeah. And then if you just turn your volume knob down, That's sweet. That's really that cool. That is really cool. That's very inspiring. And uh, you can go for like a, a nice, creamy, gainy sound. Okay. Not like heavy metal because it's too much. Yeah. But like a cool, dirty sound. And go back with your volume knob. Wow. And you have like a super nice, clean I've sound. I've never heard that before. What? That's a That's a great tip. I just learned something new. Because some of the other things I've, I've heard a little bit about. But messing with the volume knob, and this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but in one no. of my beginner electric guitar videos, I went to go, when I went to go uh, turn down my volume, I actually reached over to the amp instead and, and, and dialed it instead of, and people were like, you can just dial it on your guitar, you know that, right? I'm like, <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just not used to it. But the way that you explain, you can use it to kind of work with like your tone, like your yeah. sound, yeah. that I've never heard before, and it's, that's cool. It's a little confusing to, uh, to do it on the fly. Like if, while you're playing, while you're you're playing in the song and just, you know, using your pinky to, to play amazing. with it, it's, it's really hard at the beginning. But if you Imagine. get used to it, it's like limitless, um, you know, amount of awesome sounds. That's so totally cool. clean, little crunchy, bluesy, you know, funky okay. stuff up until punk rock, rock, hard rock. You know, the range is like 
wide open. Wide, wide. So really, really cool, cool stuff to mess around with. Okay. It's like a little dirty, and then I go yeah. back. Wow. That, it's almost as if, see, like I would think that I would have to go to my amp and change the settings Or on buy a it. new pedal. <laughs> yeah, or that. I think you just save some people a lot of money. Well, you're welcome. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, these are, these are the things, uh, if you hear about these right at the beginning and just kind of keep it somewhere in your mind and uh -huh. just don't, don't mess around too much with it, but just kind of think of it every now and then mm -hmm. and then you incorporate this into your playing, yeah. you'll be such an inspiring player at the yeah. end, you know, and, and you're, you're limitless, you know, you're, you have everything here, That's just amazing. one switch and a little turn to the right and to the left and you have a total different That's sound. So cool, getting the most impressive. out of your electric guitar. Pro tips. That's yes. so cool. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're both welcome, Michelle. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> and of course, thank you again to Framus and Warwick for having us. And uh, I will see you guys in my next electric guitar video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. Cheers, guys.